Good afternoon. My name is Dr. Eduardo Haynes, and I'm on the board for Pine Lake. I also have two boys at Pine Lake, one at the lower school and one at the upper school. Today, I'm gonna to give you a black history moment, and I'm gonna be spotlighting a local Charlotte artist, Nellie Asher. So as you see, we have a piece of her art here. Um, I'm an avid collector of her work. Uh, one thing unique about Nellie, Nellie grew up in the Paul Creek area of Charlotte. That's now where the White Water Center is, Steel Creek, and out by the airport. Her work is very, very unique. She was influenced by another local Charlotte artist, Romir Bearden. And you might have heard, um, heard that name before. The name's very familiar because there's a, a park uptown Charlotte named after him. Bearden was a mixed media artist. So with Nellie, she took on the same thing. Hers is a bit different because she actually uses fabric. So as you see here with this piece, uh, the jazz man here actually has on a suit and that's actually real fabric, real buttons. Uh, the lady at the bottom actually has on a dress. So Nellie felt that she put movement and art into all the stuff that she does. So as you can see, her pieces of art have a lot of movement and texture. Nellie was also commissioned by the CIAA. And here's another black history fact. CIAA is the Central Intercollegiate Athletic Association, and they are the league for historically black colleges and universities. The CIAA is much like the NCAA and the ACC. The only difference is it's for historically black colleges and universities. So this is a local tournament. Charlotte has been fortunate to host this tournament for years, and Nellie was one of the commissioned artists to do a piece each year. So this first piece we have here, is a collage. Again, Nellie uses the fabric, the different pieces, and she weaves in all the different schools. And this particular piece, she had newspaper clippings with all of the school's names on it. So Nellie has done a very good job of mixing in some of the textures and weaves. So Nellie takes a lot of this from her background. Um, growing up in Paul Creek, some of the things that she's seen. Uh, so you'll see her influence throughout the work. Over here, we have another one. So Nellie coined this one as this is something that she would do as a youngster. Um, as you see, running through the field playing, and this she uses fabric, she also uses rope, and more things about her childhood and background growing up here in Charlotte. And then our last piece here is another commission from the CIAA. This one is really special because it's the 100th anniversary of the CIAA. So she did this one to commemorate 100 years of the CIAA being in existence. And again, she put a lot of emphasis in with textures and fabrics and different pieces to notice that you see from each one of the schools. And this is our Black History Spot. 